In this short video, I want to demonstrate one of my favorite tools in Lightburn because I use it almost every day. Every time I am trying to put something in there and figure out where the laser head is going to be for me to make everything align, I use this tool. It's called the locate tool or locate button, at least that's what I call it. And let me show you how it works. Now let's say I want to put a template in there and I know the template is going to be in a certain location or I want to put a cribbage board or something else in there and I want to find out the rough location of where I should be putting it. In this case I just made some teacher appreciation just and I just realized I forgot to put the writing on these. But fortunately when I made these like I normally do I made a template to go with it. So now if I want to know where I need to put that template in there so it's going to be close. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the software, I'm going to call up my template, and I'm going to push the locate button, and it's going to tell me where I need to go and put the laser head. So let's take a look at it right now. Well, I just opened up Lightburn software, and as I said, I need to take those pieces and burn the information on them. So I'm going to open up the template first. So I come over here, I'm going to go to recent projects because it was just a few minutes ago and I'm going to open up that project. And you can see that I made that a template and if you haven't seen that video about how I use the horizontal bullseye you might want to take a look at it. But this will give you a little brief explanation. I know that if I can find this exact location that I can put those pieces back in down here which is where they belong. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go locate where that piece of wood is going. There is no wood in the laser right now and so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go press this locate button right over here on the left. It says set laser position by clicking on the page and now this template is right here and so instead of trying to fool around and move the template around all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead up here to the bullseye I'll call it right here see what happens with the laser head. Here I'm pressing, now watch the picture. The laser head is sitting right here. I'm pointing to it. Let me get these out of the way. And so I know that location is the exact crosshairs that I have because that's where the locate button set it. So now I'm going to take this template that I built earlier today, just a few minutes ago, and I'm going to line that laser dot right in the center of that bullseye. So that's where the laser dot is sitting because of the locate button. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of see if the plywood looks like it's straight and we can see it's not. What I'm doing is I'm looking at how the laser is following that straight line right there. So that tells me I'm going to have to turn it and maybe make a couple of adjustments. So there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be straight now. Let's take a look. It's pretty much following that line down. So now I'm going to go use that locate button two more times or three more times and I'll know exactly where I am. So I'm going to hit the locate button which you can see right now. You see it turned red. Now I come over here in the corner and that should go right to the corner. And it did, except it's just a little too far to the left, and that was because I was moving things around. So I just moved it over slightly to the left. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take that locate button, and I'm going to do it again over in the other corner. And I may have just moved it a little bit when I was shifting it, so that's why I check it again. We can see the laser head moving across. It's looking pretty good. It looks like it's right on line. And there it is. It's right in that corner. piece is exactly where it needs to be to start doing my engraving or cutting. And I can put those pieces back in and I'll just do one more check quick. Again, I love this locate button. Hit that locate button. Put it right here in the corner.
and you can see it went right down there to the corner and is right where I need it to be. So now, through the power of the locate button, I can start placing my pieces in there and engraving them with the saying that I needed to engrave with to begin with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two right here and I'm going to turn those into a tool path non-cutting layer so we won't get messed up and I'm going to take these here and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to center them and so now I know that that's perfect and I'm going to go ahead because I know I used the array tool before I'm just going to array that piece all the way across And now that it's arrayed, I hit OK. And I'm not worried about the blue, light blue, because that's a tool. It won't cut, and I'm not going to allow the outside to cut, so I'm going to turn off that right there, right there. Now we'll grab those, do a preview to make sure I've got the right thing. Always try to do a preview if you remember, because otherwise you can end up regretting it later. So now the preview validates I've got what I want and we can start the engraving process right now. All right, now that I have all the pieces loaded back in there, I'm going to go ahead and show you how well this works. I can come back in and I can now engrave the saying I needed to engrave on them to begin with. So we just went through an example of the locate button and how it helped me locate a specific template that I had previously built in there. Some may be saying, well, that's a template. It's, that's okay. That's, that, that's what it can work with. But let me show you how the locate button works on a day-to-day -day basis. Notice with my laser, it's wide open. I don't have any fences, fancy grids, or anything else. And every time I go in, if I knock this honeycomb, it could be in a slightly different location. So it's important that I can find the location pretty quickly anytime I want to engrave something in the laser. And that's what we're going to go through right now. Let's say I have this piece of wood. It's not a template. It's just a regular piece of wood. And I want to locate it in here and then I'll line up a picture to engrave on it. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's go into the software and I'll show you what I mean. So now we're back in the software with a clean slate. So let's bring in a vector. I like that and now what I'm going to do so this piece of wood is five and three quarters by six and the five and three quarters is the width size for what I want so I'm gonna remember that five and three quarters by six so I want to make this picture so it'll fit on the wood and therefore I'm going to go ahead and resize the wood and I'm gonna lock the ratio and I'm going to leave it locked up here because where I'm going to locate this with the locate button, where I'm going to put this in the laser with the locate button, is going to be based on this upper left corner. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go, say, 5.5, hit enter. And now I want to see where I need to put that on the laser. So let's place it, oh, that looks somewhat in the middle. Let's go right about here. And now I'm going to go to the locate button. I go to the top corner of this picture. And now I know that's the very top corner of the picture. So there's the laser head. And I know that that dot represents the upper corner of the picture and I had it so that it would barely fit inside this border of this wood. Now to see if that wood straight, I can do a real quick check. That looks pretty straight. Looks like I've got it pretty straight in there. Maybe just a touch off. Let's do that. All right. So now if everything's right, that should frame up pretty close. It might need one adjustment. Let's do a frame and see how it is. Hit frame. And you can see that's framing just fine. I'm going to move the picture up versus the wood because it's easier. Just one arrow mark, hit frame one more time. Okay, that looks pretty centered. 
So now I can start to carve this thing. Let me just make sure that my height's are right. It is. Turn on my air assist. And we can start to carve this picture. And you can see how easy it was for me to locate that piece of wood exactly where I wanted it to be. Preview it one more time. Okay. It says it's going to be 18 minutes, 19 minutes. Hit start. And now we're going. And that's how simple it is to locate a piece of material using the locate button. That's why it's one of my favorite tools. And this is how that carving turned out. It looks pretty good. Let me show it to you with a round over. Once again, this wraps up another instructional video of types of tools and favorite things I like to do with my laser or my CNC or my 3D printer. In this case, it's my laser. I make videos on all three of those. And so if you are into any one of those, you may want to subscribe to my channel and follow along if you like what you receive. That way you'll be informed when I make future instructional videos and you can decide whether what I'm making is going to be helpful to you or not. My channel motto is learn, share, and aspire. Where I came up with that is the fact that I like to learn new things and then whatever I learn I like to share with others so that they can learn. I like for them and myself to inspire each other to go out and try those things to make something cool. I started my journey a few years back and I learned so much from other YouTube instructors and people that were willing to share their time and I'm in the process of paying that back while also trying to set up a channel where not only can I help others learn, but make a small income stream from it, maybe. It hasn't been there yet, but I'll keep trying. I'm getting to the point where it's starting to allow me to be able to make some money. I recently was promoted to be able to get super thanks, super chats and stuff, so people can donate money to my channel. I'm allowed to start a membership. I'm trying to think about that. Also, I'm real close to being to the magic number to be able to have uh, my videos monetized. Now, I hope that doesn't put a damper on everybody wanting to watch my videos because I do have the uh, desire to make a couple bucks to help pay back for the cameras and the wood and all the supplies I do. It would be helpful with the amount of inflation and how much things are costing now to actually make these videos. In any event, my goal is to learn, share, and inspire. I use this locate button all the time when I'm using my laser and I thought maybe others weren't quite aware of it or if they were aware of it, maybe they weren't using it to its fullest function. With that, I'll close one more time with would you please like, comment, and share this video with others and furthermore, enjoy life, get out in the shop, and play with your tools. Whatever you have a propensity for, whether it's a CNC, a laser, a 3D printer or hand tools, go out and enjoy life. Because one thing I've learned over the last several years, it is definitely short. God bless until we meet again in this medium.